are a dark adaptation curve and we have to remember this and we have to also understand this so some important points initially that there are two types of photoreceptor one is rods and other is cones so rods are basically important in the dark adaptation and cones are basically uh, responsible for the color vision and also for the uh, curves and the shapes etc or we call it formed vision so you can remember it's that rods means are they are more important in, in the uh, night that is the wrath and cones that are more important for the color and the curves so c goes with c and r goes with the r so now we have what see this diagram so let's say this is a threshold you can say this is 10 this is 20 or this is 30 just uh, for the sake of understanding so the red line is for the rods and the green line is for the cones and what is blue line blue line is the total so uh, if we combine the uh, rods and the cones adaptation then the blue line is the total for that now just understand that this point that when a, pip, a person let's say if you are entering a cinema hall so initially let's say at this zero point of zero minutes you have entered a cinema hall so at that point of time your threshold for seeing is high so and that is contributed by the cones so initially there is the cones that are responsible for the adaptation but as it goes with the time then the rods become more relevant so let's 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 say when there are more than 25 minutes or 30 minutes you are in the picture hall now you can even in the dim light you can see who is just besides you and who is uh, let's say five rows down the corner so with time this threshold is decreasing so let's say initially if you have to see uh, a person sitting in the front row you have to uh, get more light but uh, with the time uh, even in the dim light you can see the person who is sitting in the front row so the light threshold this light threshold decreases with the time okay so this is an important point the second point that we get is initially it's the cones that are important but very soon the rods basically take over the function so both rods and cones are important for the dark adaptation but mainly it is rods after five minutes the rods are the main players for the dark adaptation now we say what is dark adaptation time so dark adaptation time you can define is the uh, time period after which a patient can even with a very little threshold can see the surroundings so we say the dark adaptation time is almost 30 minutes and when this patient or when this uh, person goes back to the light it takes for few minutes for him to uh, accommodate to the surrounding so let's say after interval if you directly go into the bright sunlight you would feel a sudden uh, uh, decrease in the vision or sudden blurring of the vision so with the time it increases and uh, with the time uh, you are able to see in the light also so this is light adaptation time that is almost five minutes so the dark adaptation time is higher than the light adaptation time so these are some important points that you should remember about the dark adaptation curve. Another important thing that you should remember is Purkinje effect. So what is Purkinje effect? Purkinje effect says that all colors are seen as gray in dark light. So this you have to remember. 